Hey Guru Nation, happy Halloween. You know what is scarier than my makeup right now? Is not having a business development plan when you're starting your brand new research clinic. So in our Site Owner Academy, we're actually gonna go into great detail. In fact, business development is just one of the 12 weeks of the entire program. The entire week three, a one hour module, one hour webinar, and then a bunch of homework and references for you is all about biz dev. But for you guys here on YouTube, because there's no way I can get into this kind of detail without making like a three hour video, and we've done plenty of those, but this is all concise in a site owner academy, and every week is something else. So I'm not gonna get into GCP, I'm not gonna get into NIH, IATA, CLIA waivers, that's regulatory. This I'm just talking strictly biz dev, meaning getting studies for your research clinic. A few things that everyone needs when they're starting out a brand new research clinic when it comes to business development that you might not think you need. So a website, having a website with your own domain name, your research clinic, information about your research clinic, you gotta get it. Go to Squarespace, it's pretty easy to design yourself, but if you want it professionally done, I have a digital marketing company that can do that for you. Uh, get an email address with your domain name in it. It just looks a lot more professional when you start pitching to people on clinicaltrials.gov. Get a CRM, which is a customer retention management tool. And I use HubSpot, that one's free. Uh, this is where you will put your leads from clinicaltrials.gov that respond to you, what they said, did they send you a CDA, did they say to follow up with them. There's no way to keep all that in your head. You need to put it in a CRM so you could follow up, follow up, follow up later like you're supposed to. Do use Zymewire. You use it on top of clinicaltrials.gov. It just makes it a lot easier to find the contacts uh, from clinicaltrials.gov, some of those hidden contacts. It uses AI algorithms to kind of figure out and guess, and it does a pretty good job of guessing which ones are the appropriate contacts for that particular study that you're interested in. Register on all the big CROs, Quintiles, Parexcel, PPD, INC Research. They all have a place to register your investigator. And yes, you have to register your investigator, so if you have more than one, you gotta do it several times. So try those things out. If you're interested in learning more, uh, first of all, good luck. And then try the Site Owner Academy if you really want to get in depth on this. And by the time you're done with our three month training, you have a research clinic up and running, ideally, hopefully. Okay. Talk to you all soon. Bye bye.